Roach Farm and Garden is a store with more than you would expect. Shop our new clothing lines. We carry heritage clothing, nuts and bowls, Drake, Carhartt, and strutting cotton. Fashionable, comfortable, and durable, Roach offers the best clothing lines. Also, bring the beauty of spring to your home. Come look at our beautiful decorative items that have just arrived. For the best selection of bird feeders and Cole's bird seed, Roach is the place. More than you would expect. That's Roach Farm and Garden serving you in two convenient locations. Hey, this is Jeff Shepard on behalf of Roach Farm and Garden. We try to make you a better turkey hunter and show you how to help your food plot and track more game with Roach Farm and Garden products. Stay tuned. Jeff Shepard, Roach Farm and Garden. Old food plot. During bow season, it looked real good, but it's been hammered. It is, it is gone. It is the first day of March. We're going to come in here and we're going to replant it. And right now, as people say, well, it's too early to plant. No, it's not. You can go, you can get your oats in again, back on this. All we, we don't care if they head out. We just want something for the turkeys and everything to get, because this is gone. We need to redo this. We've got another month, and then we can start planting the chufas and peas and beans and all that. But I want to get something else back here on this food plot and uh, start bringing the game right back in here. We're back with our seed. First thing we're going to do is we're going to till this, get, get the dirt back right. We're going to circle all this back up, cut it back into the ground, and then come back on top with oats. It's a little too early for the chufa, a little too early for the beans and peas. We can come back about two months once we go back to roach and get all that. It will carry everything there. You think, well, it's too early to plant. Well, your plot is dead. We want to bring it back to life. We're going to come back in and plant it and make the birds come in here. What we're trying to do now is to give something for the turkeys to come in here and graze on, bug in, we don't care if the oats head out and make. We just want something to attract the game and bring stuff to our plots. So let's get started. Everything's good and tilled up. And remember, you can buy all these implements. You, they sell cane cutter, roach farm and garden. They carry everything that you need to establish a food plot. And if you don't have the money to buy like implements and stuff, well, you can go with the hog tying rake. We carry those also. That way you can get in there and you, it just takes a little bit more effort, but you can still get your plot in. And today we're gonna go straight to old school we're going to spread the oats by hand. But I recommend, like, if you're going to do small seed clovers, get you one of these small spreaders. Again, at Roach Farm and Garden. We're going to spread the oats. We're going to put them pretty heavy. I'm going to put, this plot is probably 50 yards long by 20, 25 yards wide. Now, of course, if I had a grain drill and was doing it, I could really skimp on my seed but we're going to hand cast it. I'm going to put 200, uh, 100 pounds out here on this one plot. And all we need then is a rain on it and it's ready to go. This stuff needs to sit it to be up in three days after a good rain. But as of right now, this would be considered bait. But a lot of these big pretty white oaks right in here, these turkeys would be roosting right here. It makes me think of calling it up turkeys for folks and food plots. And a lot of times you'll get, get a lot of birds using these for even where we've just broke the dirt, just the dust, uh, just to get the ground broken. And then they'll come in here and eat the browse on the green. And then when it gets warmer and the bugs is in the green, they're bugging in here for, these, for the bugs. I want it as thick as it, as it can be with as much food as possible. Because uh, on food plots, they're for one thing, they're for feeding and for seeing wildlife and making wildlife come in or whatever you're trying to attract to a close area. So the more food I've got, the better off I am. And then plus, as, early, as late as I am with these oats, I'm not going to fertilize. 
So I'm just gonna put this out here real cheap and then probably come back in a month or two and plant peas and beans on this same place. Well, Roach Farm and Garden is going to have about every food of your choice. They're going to have a bunch of mixtures that you can buy like from different companies that have already got everything mixed up in the bag. You just buy one five pound bag, cover the whole plot. Uh, I would rather buy their bulk seed. They carry everything in bulk. You can buy it and weigh it up. It's kind of like buying cheese. You just buy what you want and leave out of there with it. I would rather mix up my own seed because you got some plot. Just say, for instance, this is not a real sandy plot, but I would rather come back in a month or two and really plant chufa just all in the in the solid plot if it was a little bit sandier than this one, which this one this one would hold chufa well, and uh, and not plant anything else in it. But this plot will probably come back with some beans and peas, maybe a. a Clover's not real good this time of year uh, with the beans and peas and, and let that hold and then come back and fall for your fall plot for bow season. Not bad for 30 minutes work. I think we got the birds on the way. And again, whether you're a turkey hunter or just want to watch wildlife, head to Roach Farm and Garden. They can help you with all your food plot needs.